Look, so, look, sorry, we had some audio problems. I'm going to start over again. So, <laughs> so anyway, so <laughs> been a little bit ill and uh, just trying to make it through here. So I'll start all over again. Um, so what we have here to start off the month and the quarter is uh, new price discovery, right? So we're starting off new quarter, new month, new week, right? And so what you're going to see here is the inside month and we are nowhere near taking this out in the S&P nowhere near right and you got an election coming you got all this kind of stuff so what they do try and do yesterday is give them a nice push on the 60 minute yesterday and so here's your opening broadening formation to start off the new quarter new month all this stuff you can see this here higher highs slower lows price discovery then back up in here now the question can can they stay up here right so to be fair, in the upper middle, you got the weekly taking that out, right? Taking out the other highs. That's a good thing. The question is to stall out here today, right? Because you got this push up here. Now, if you get onto a shorter time frame, you're going to see this. The slight higher high, the slight lower low, chopping them up into here. How do we get out of there? And you're going to go to five minute, and you'll see this here. The higher highs and the lower lows. And right, so we want to try and get out of here, and so we're going to be watching things that aren't doing that, staying inside on all this stuff. So the good thing is that takes that out, and so we had Fed speak today, and so if you look at Facebook and Facebook, you can see this here was inside day, but here, tight inside week, tight inside month. So price discovery starts over again here, right, and you can see this here, this outside bar. Then it goes inside, then comes down, chopping them up here. And if you go to the 30, you're going to see this. It goes up inside on the 30, comes back down, and then here. Here's your price discovery. It goes inside now trying to come back down. So we'll see because a lot of that stuff's going to be doing that. So you can get the stuff that's not doing that, FSLY. And FSLY here on the 60 <clears throat> you can see this here the slight lower low in the month right comes back up three one two and then you go to your 60 and you can see this going for the measured move the up inside and gone it's also here on the upper upper left inside day to the upside right we got Etsy coming up here and Etsy Here's what we look for in the monthly. Hammer, shooter, 222 continuation here. Above 129.94. All right, I'm trying to come back up to the all-time highs and look at the weekly. Do we know about this? We did. The inside bar pokes down, rev strat. Boom. Now we're going to go look out to take out those highs. If we go to uh, Snap on, or let's go to Vive. Vive. Here's one, one other thing you can look for, the reversal. It's also a continuation by continuity. And what I mean by that is you can see the Vive gap down and then rallied back. So that's still a two down because it took out these lows, right? But then it goes inside day, but the continuity was green. So we look for the measured move on this, the up, the inside, take all these guys out in one shot, which it indeed did, right? Still an inside month, right? But green on the month and it's taking out last week's highs. That's kind of stuff you want to see because you're going to see your stuff getting chopped up if you try and trade these things that are still inside. If we go to TTD and TTD down lower middle, outside month to the upside. That's a 3 2 range expansion because they tried to take it down, tried to take it up, right? And still holding. Still holding. If we go to Okta, and Okta, Okta, remember this, in the middle, upper middle, right? You're going to see this inside and down weekly, rev strat up. Now takes it all the way to the highs, going through this outside bar. That was your broadening formation, which is on the monthly here. And now we're trying to range expand that and take that up. Right now you got an inside 60 to keep an eye on there. Rider Systems. Going down the food chain here a bit, but inside 60 here, and but used to be somebody here. 
So this is what we'd like to look for, right? Things that have been a lot higher, especially in this market. Now you can see it's starting to pick up some steam. FedEx, right? Because FedEx, that's what we've been watching the FedEx, coming back through the previous range, right? Still walking its way up, taking out last month's highs, week's highs, day's highs, right? And still walking up. You can see this inside 60, trying to go up to the highs. If we go to, how about BE? BE, here, lower middle, and you're going to see this, the two-bar inside pattern, right? And so that forms a compound one because it couldn't get out of this. Now, that's an inside two months to the upside, all right? You'll see this reversal here on the daily two days ago, right? Which is technically a rev strike because this was an inside day. Gaps down, then boom, here's your reversal, a 2-2 reversal, and right back through and trying to take out that range on that monthly and going towards the highs. If we go to snap on, snap on, just having a nice day and taking out last month's highs. Now remember, that's an outside bar here, right? So that's trying to continue that range expansion, right? And you'll see this nice reversal here on the weekly. Tight range, gaps down, 2-2 two -two reversal, follow through on the previous range back into the highs. If we go to Baba, and Baba, still inside of the month, but getting up there and still working on that week. But here's something we look for in the daily. The two down, hammer counter shooter, back through previous range. Going to take these guys out. This is going to become a compound outside bar of all that, which it did. If we go to Coop. And Coop, handily going to be inside, right, on this monthly. We know that, all right? However... It's inside an outside bar. And so we can look at the other things here, and you're going to see this. Remember, we talked about this. The two down, 2-2 two, two reversal, back up through here, right? Back to an outside bar. So as long as that keeps going, you can see this inside day to the upside. We can continue to look to see it as long as that keeps going. Right now, these futures drying up a little bit. We had some Fed speak going on today. That was throwing things around. You always want to be aware of that. If you go to Sumo, Sumo. In Sumo, here you go, the reversal on the weekly, pokes down, then boom, 2-2 two -two reversal here on the week above 23.50. And then here on the daily, outside bar, inside bar, 3-1-2, that's what we look for, and then boom, takes that out, the inside bar break here against 23.43, all right? If we go to uh, the Utes coming up a little bit here. And Utes, in general, doing nothing. You can see this month, everything's stuck inside of there. However, you do have that poke up on the month, the poke down, and now taking this out to try and come back through there. Not too exciting, but it is what it is, because you want to watch all that relative performance when the market starts to come in a little bit. AEP going to the highs right now. What's going on in here? AEP. It looks like I lost some data in there, but you get the idea. You can go through some Utes. Sun W, old shenaniganer. Sun W trying to come up here. Remember, this thing had the, quite the push and in here and all this. Still inside week. How are you going to get outside of this thing? So we just watch for some of these things to, uh, you know, pick up and see if anything comes of it. Right now, I'm going to go in inside 60. Maybe it's just another death throw, kind of like SPI and SPI. Remember that shenanigan. Well, it starts to pop up. Not too exciting. But uh, we'll see. You can always keep an eye on something like that. We had um, PPSI talking about the shenanigans coming up here, too. And PPSI, we will see if this can go inside in the 60. It is. Now we'll see if this thing can pick up again. Uh, one of these large rangers kind of things. So here would be directional over 730 here. Right now we also have the crowd coming up. What's going on in the crowd? crowd trying to go to the highs of, of ever but still inside week which you can see is now nice and green on the month i was just still inside of the month but now trying to take this out and taking out yesterday's high so we'll see it's chopping them up here a little bit on the 60 but we'll see here's the reversal you look for right here on the 30 pokes down boom takes out the lows then takes out the highs 2-2 two -two reversal here 146 25 if we go to stamps Stamps, what do we look for in the monthly? Here we are, just like Etsy. Shooter, hammer, back up. 
255.40. That's two fifty above 255.40 to start the month. Already at 269. So good, good to go so far there on the stamps. AVLR and AVLR. It's again trying to get out all this month. Taking out last week's highs and a little bit left to go on the all-time highs. And here's what we look for in the daily. The inside day pokes down. Boom. Right there's your rev strat going to, the, going to the upside. We'll see if that keeps going. you got to also keep going Peloton. Peloton. Still, look at this. Still marching our way up. We've known about this one since the reversal down here in the monthly. Still good. And remember the two, two, two week here. Still good. If we go to some downside, you got the TLT bonds. Not too much on the downside right now here, but uh, TLT bonds just doing this to start off the month. Inside month to the downside. And so we'll keep an eye on that, but you can see this. All of this is inside this month, and that's when you can expect to get all this chop shop like so, right? If we go to uh, Boeing. Boeing. So here's one of the things you look for in the Boeing. Right now, we know that in general this thing's been doing nothing like airlines forever, right? It's all this kind of stuff. However, what you can look for is the reversal that's going to give you an outside bar on the daily. So, right here, you can see the 60 gaps up on the lower left here, and then boom, there's your 2 2 reversal back through previous range. And if that works, it's going to give you the outside day, which it indeed did. If we go to PLMR. See if this thing's doing inside, inside 60, but trying to take out last month's lows. That's something I'd want to know about. It's already an outside week, and you've already taken this stuff out here, so a little exhaustion, but we want to see how it acts off these inside 60s coming into the end of the day. If we go to ESPR, ESPR just inside month and just things that you can look for to see if they're going to start taking that inside month to the downside. That would kick in below 3406, but if we go to... Uh, just back to, uh, let's see, NVTA. NVTA having a nice run here, too. You can see it's trending right into the highs. Upper left, you're going to see this inside. And then poke down, there's your rev strat into the high. So, uh, like always, I'm back. Uh, well, not like always, but I am back. And uh, my videos at uh, Smith and the Black channel here at Ticker Talker are always free, so come see me. It's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and the Black channel here at Ticker Talker with the Strat Time Report.